Melachim Rishon, 1 Kings 14. At that time, Aviyahu, the son of Yarovam, fell sick. And Yarovam said to his woman, Arise, I pray you, and disguise yourself, that you be not known to be the woman of Yarovam, and get you to Shiloh. Behold, there is Ahiyahu, the prophet, which told me that I should be king over this people, and take with you ten loaves and cracknels and a cruise of honey, and go to him. He shall tell you what shall become of the child. And Yadavam's woman did so, and arose, and went to Shiloh, and came to the house of Achiyahu. But Achiyahu could not see, for his eyes were set by reason of his old age. And Yahuwah said unto Achiyahu, Behold, the woman of Yaravam comes to ask a thing of you for her son, for he is sick. Thus and thus shall you say unto her, for it shall be, when she comes in, that she shall feign herself to be another woman. And it was so, when Achiyahu heard the sound of her feet, as she came in at the door, that he said, Come in, woman of Yarovam, why feign yourself to be another? For I am sent to you with heavy tidings. Go tell Yarovam, thus says Yahuwah Elohai of Yashar'el, For as much as I exalted you from among the people, and made you prince over my people Yashar'el, and rent eth the kingdom away from the house of David, and gave it you, and yet you have not been as my servant David, who guarded my commandments, and who followed me with all his heart, to, de- to do that only which was right in my eyes, but have done evil above all that were before you, for you have gone and made you other Elohim, and molten images, to provoke me to anger, and have cast me behind your back. Therefore, behold, I will bring evil upon the house of Yarovam, and will cut off from Yarovam him that pisseth against the wall, and him that is shut up, and left in Yashar'el, and will take away the remnant of the house of Yarovam as a man takes away dung, till it be all gone. Him that dies of Yadavam in the city shall the dogs eat, and him that dies in the field shall the fowls of the air eat, for Yahuwah has spoken it. Arise, eth therefore, get you to your own house, and when your feet enter into the city, the child shall die, and all Yashar'el shall mourn for him and bury him, for he only of Yadavam shall come to the grave, because in him there is found some good thing toward El Yahuwah, Elohai, of Yashar'el, in the house of Yadavam. Moreover, Yahuwah shall raise him up a king over Yashar'el, who shall cut off eth the house of Yaravam that day. But what? Even now. For Yahuwah shall smite eth Yashadael as a reed is shaken in the water, and he shall root up eth Yashadael out of this good land which he gave to their fathers, and shall scatter them beyond the river, because they have made eth their Asherah poles, provoking Eth Yahuwah to anger, and he shall give Eth Yashara'el up because of the sins of Yaravam, who did sin and who made Eth Yashara'el to sin. And Yaravam's woman arose and departed and came to Tutsah, and when she came to the threshold of the door, the child died, and they buried him, and all Yashara'el mourned for him 
according to the word of Yahuwah, which he spoke by the hand of his servant Ahiyahu, the prophet, and the rest of the acts of Yaravam, how he warred and how he reigned. Behold, they are written in the Sefer of the Chronicles of the Kings of Yashadael. And the days which Yaravam reigned were two and twenty years, and he slept with his fathers, and Nadav his son reigned in his stead. And Rechavam the son of Shalomah reigned in Yahuda. Rechavam was forty and one years old when he began to reign, and he reigned seventeen years in Yerushalayim, the city which Yahuwah did choose out of all the tribes of Yashereel, to put his name there, and his mother's name was Naama, and Ammonith. And Yahuda did evil in the sight of Yahuwah, and they provoked him to jealousy with their sins which they had committed, above all that their fathers had done. For they also built them high places and images and Asherah poles on every high hill and under every green tree. And there were also Sadamin, rather Sadamim in the land. And they did according to all the abominations of the nations which Yahuwah cast out before the children of Yashadael. And it came to pass in the fifth year of King Rechavam that Shishach, king of Mitzrayim, came up against Yerushalayim, and he took away at the treasures of the house of Yahuwah, and at the treasures of the king's house, and at he even took away all, and he took away at all the shields of gold which Shalomah had made. And King Rechavam made in their stead brazen shields and committed them unto the hands of the chief of the guard, which did guard the door of the king's house. And it was so, when the king went into the house of Yahuwah, that the guard bore them and brought them back into the guard chamber. Now the rest of the acts of Rechavam and all that he did, are they not written in the Sefer, of the chronicles of the kings of Yahuda, And there was war between Rechavam and Yaravam all their days. And Rechavam slept with his fathers and was buried with his fathers in the city of David. And his mother's name was Naamah and Amanith. And Aviam, his son, reigned in his stead.